It's time to rock the gauntlet at Emerald Square Mall. Attleboro, Mass, or North Attleboro if you want to be specific. We are starting at the top floor of Macy's. I was on the bottom floor, which is where I normally start these, but there was an employee literally right there. I went in, went out to get some stuff. So he's seen me twice already, so let's not make things look suspicious. So we'll start at the top. And this store is full of employees. You might not see much of anything here. Since we're right here, let's start with the elevator. And it's a Dover Impulse. selected one so we're moving. We just saw the buttons in the phone. 125 feet per minute, 3,500 pounds, and a completely dead floor counter. Up to three. Sounds a little sick on it. And as you heard it does the Dover beep or chirp depending on what your school of thought is. your lights. There's a carpet. Here we are at three, I believe. Yeah. See, my game's already messed up a little bit. Because I didn't want to run into that guy again. Then he'd wonder, what am I doing? Why am I coming in, going out, and coming back in? Actually, I went back out because I wanted to get rid of the flashlight. God forbid I get searched. Try explaining away the flashlight, right? So I have to go back to the car and get rid of that. And there it goes. Except this store is full of employees. Might not see squat today. a little extra shaking, that's me whittling my thumb along the keys to make it look like I'm not recording. Stores tend to frown on people's First Amendment rights. There are absolutely no names on these escalators. I 
that something Dover is famous for? If these are Dover? Employees right there. Now we gotta talk. There's the mall. But right now we wanna go down. Extra vigilant. Gotta be very vigilant. Don't want a repeat of last time. Hi. This is a breeze. Not this time. Here we come to the Alabora Mall. Now we're safe. The T Mobile desk right here. Here we come to the escalators. Montgomery Twinkie M. Dark on the first floor for some oddball reason. It's only one o'clock. It wouldn't be this busy. Unless no one here has jobs. There's the food court. Alrighty. Let's go back down. The food court yet again. It might be the matter of time of day. During the middle of the day, the mall cops keep themselves. Probably worry about kids. And there's the Macy's that we finished. we go. This is another cookie cutter mall. Where this is the same as Pheasant Lane slash Solomon Pond Mall slash Mall Rockingham Park. Only difference is for customization they added a third floor and it's straight. People that are walking aimlessly. Okay. 
Okay, I'm doing this a little backwards. It's loud, it must be Ambie Crumbie and Bitch. There's the mall elevator. Let's ride it. And what's next to the mall elevator in a cookie cutter Simon Mall? A JC Penny. And you get this 45 degree angle, which is another cookie cutter Simon thing. Dead floor counter. Dead light. Uh, let's do it. Door open. PTL, if I remember right, 3500. Now this has to be in Montgomery. There's not even any, not even any paint on the steel. Never mind a color. These are your buttons, and there's your phone. Sussex thought it might have been a Dover. 150 feet per minute, 3,500 pounds. Up we go. And we're on, yeah, see, that's a Montgomery Bell. And we're stopping on a mystery floor. Heading up. Level. Door closes immediately. Which one do you want? Uh, the second level. Second. Yep. Thank you. That was nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using my door open foot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, go ahead. And squeeze in. This is the down. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah. That was right. such my child, but that's all right. And that's Rosie's child. <laughs> that was Rosie's child. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And this steel pattern is a Montgomery. Going down, if that's what you want. Yeah. And down we go. And according to our Acme floor counter, we're on floor God knows what. <laughs> we know which. Those watching on YouTube are not going to know. Thank you. Yep, no problem. Now we're going to hit the JC Penny. Now this JC Penny has two elevators. And we're going to go to the escalator route first. Every Twinkie M. get a view. We're doing something over here. Got these pennants. Those look nice. I like the skylight. There's a better look at the pennant. Alrighty, let's get a view. Here we are. 
that lighting. Yeah, you can't get much because the solid walls. Here we go. also other people. If we can aim away, we can, otherwise we point down, just like we do with security and employees. Yeah, too many uh, large walls, can't really get a view off these. Might have pulled it off before, but... More blank customer service. And there's the first elevator we'll hit. These are Montgomery Twinkie M's. They're vectors in terms of model. And here we go. She's here. Montgomery Twinkie M. Card, 150 feet per minute, 4,500 pounds, service panel. Still a crack open since I've last been here. There are ADA, well, non ADA compliant buttons, your door controls, backwards panel to your phone. Let's go for a ride. Oh, any arrows on the other side. Might as well just go over here. Oh, it's bouncing a little bit. That's about all, though. Three dings. Door doesn't close when we push the button. I don't like that. And for Jimster 586, we do our... Twilight Rat. Button go out. Thud. And ducky ducky music music. There it goes. Now for the other one. There are two. Now I gotta find the other one. Unlike the Macy's, they're employees starved over here. I know if I hug this wall, I'll find the second one. I guess there's people right there, laying down. one is right where those doors are. Now I get a carrot like I'm not doing a thing. Well, actually, we can get away with it. God bless preoccupation. And here's the other Twinkie M. It's not here. Looks just like the other one, so let's not waste time here. Okay, your service panel is openable. Buttons in the phone there. This one's much smoother. This one has a working bell. Yeah, here we 
we are. Same 150 feet, 3,500 pounds. The down chime works. And down we go. Don't have to hit the door close. And again, for Jimster 586, that time we actually captured the lander. You can almost not feel these start up. Or should I say this one? The yellow one was quite a bit more jerky. Okay, we got that. Then we'll watch the button go out, turn the light back on, and head out to the mall again. This penny really isn't that big yet, it's got two elevators. This is going much smoother than, uh, than the West Orange Pavilion or Burlington Mall by its real name. towards the Sears. But before that, we got escalators and an add-on uh, Macy's Home and Men. Looks like this place is having a little trouble. Look at these vacant stores. Well, we're in front of the Sears. This music right over us. It's positive Macy's home was over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. They have more than one. It's hard to get a view off these going up. There's Macy's again, the men in home version. That used to be a Lord and Taylor coding elevating Boston. So, the pink in the elevator kind of dictates that it was a Lord and Taylor, which is, uh, I think, I hate escalators pointed that one out. Now, we will do a redundant ride up the up escalator because it's built into a hill. Or should I say, onto a hill. So, we gotta go up again. 
And as you know, I try to do full laps. That's why we're going down and doing the redundant, redundant the, uh, easy for me to say, redundant trip up. Alrighty. Dinosaur family amusements. Recording Elevating Boston, that was, that's fairly new. Which means the small's in trouble. And I think that kind of dictates that. Now we're heading right into the Macy's Men and Home. There's people right here, sit down. And up we go. And we gotta talk because of the loud music. Now we will aim down. Because I'm not sure where the employees are. Oh, that's one right there. Going away. There's my finger. right there. I didn't want to get their faces in the picture. The elevator's over there. Schindler. Oh, we got an employee right here. So down goes the aim. going way the hell smoother. Escalator down. Music over here now. Out of the elevator. Oh wait, it's over this way. Maybe a friend of employees here again. We're safe this way. Now to ride the elevator. Which I thought was right here, but it isn't. Misleading sign, it pointed right to that door. I fell for that trap too when I recorded here the last time. Here it is, Schindler MT. And it's not here. Any moment now, these things are famous for taking a month to level. I think it's more of the, the floor it might be famous for. 125 feet per minute, 2,500 pounds, four counters, we know. Your service cabinet, MT fire service. There's your buttons, and here's your phone. Up we go. Oh, we got curly Q uh, lights in here. And one of them's already burnt out. Yeah, it's there. It's hard to see. 
Door closes when we push the button after waiting long enough. I do kind of like that. Although if it did it immediately, it probably wouldn't work. It's actually one of the better Schindlers, which isn't really saying a lot. For speed, we're gonna do something illegal. We're gonna traverse the shaft, and this door doesn't work, of this man-powered elevator. I'm not gonna wait to ride it. Well, right down the shaft. It's a Schindler MT hydraulic man-powered elevator. I ain't waiting for that. And there's the elevator. There's buttons right outside of it. This is, this was a Montgomery Twinkie M. It's been brutally modernized. Oh, and it's so clean. I can feel it releveling as I sort of step into it. Interesting emergency light. As you can see, it's been modernized. It's got an Acme floor counter. 150 feet per minute, 2,500 pounds. There are your buttons and the phone. Twin lanterns, yut and yut. And just a two light strip there and your ceiling fan. To know to D. Red lantern there, red lantern there. Three ding chime. Door closes immediately, like that. PTL fixtures. Redundant bell and uh, electronic chime. Here we are. Button should go out any more now. And open. No upy downy chime. No up chime list. And there it goes, as fast as it came. Alrighty, back to the Macy's. Cheat a little bit. Uh-oh, we got an employee right at the door. Yay. So what we'll do is... Again, we'll climb the shaft of the man-powered elevator. I ain't waiting for it. Alrighty. That's that. got me before. The uh, elevator in here. Sign points right to the exit. Not to the elevator. Brilliant planning.
We only got one more place left. Sears. Now we'll go down. Again, another redundant step because of the hill situation. Since this is going so well, might as well just ride it down. We're in no hurry. Not even at 40 minutes yet. 36.20. To the Sears we go with loud music. This is going to be the same thing. To get out, we have to go on the second floor. And here are the escalators. There's the elevator. This Sears has a tiny footprint. And this is the down. So you know what? Let's hit the elevator now. Dover Impulse. And it's not here. Completely dead floor counter. It is a Simon Mall. Oh, and we're moving. Here's your phone. Push three. There are your buttons. Fail card, 125 feet per minute, no alarm company. That's, that's not good. And 2,500 pound capacity, I believe. Yep. Here we are at three. Does this rock hard when it... No alarm company. Which one do you want? Um, one, please. And there it goes. These are Montgomery's. Now that I remember. That's because, like right now, that's how I figured out how those were Montgomery's by looking at these. All the walls are right up against this thing, so you can't get a view. This thing sounds like a jet taking off. Caught it just in time. <laughs> they just closed it. <laughs> My auntie, there's an employee right here, so. There's a very tiny footprint. There's that wall. There's that wall. And the blue wall. Way over there is the other end. This is a very tiny store. 
And there's that wall. Yeah, we're gonna have to take the elevator back up to the second floor. facing away. No likeness is given. Oh, I just cut it on time, didn't I? And unfortunately, we've got to take the elevator back up to two. Or Let's go all the way up. We started this whole thing on the third floor. Let's end it there. And there we have it. We have successfully rocked the gauntlet. With absolutely no issues. We had a massive swarm of employees, but other than that, it went perfectly well. And yes, I know this is not the garage I started in. So that'll be it. We're just gonna round this out to an even 44 minutes. Or so I hope that's what it is. And I'll be rocking the gauntlet. Hope you enjoyed it.